Hello. Welcome to another in Simbit's technical video series. Today we're going to talk about Enerchip solid state batteries in bare die form. Now Simbit fabricates the Enerchip using semiconductor processes on silicon wafers. So we essentially use standard semiconductor processes to build the Enerchip. You can see on this wafer we have 50 microamp hour Enerchips. Each of these little squares here is an Enerchip battery. We use standard uh, dicing and grinding techniques to create bare die. Now these devices can be used as bare die or we also package them of course in the Enerchip packages available at distributors around the world. But today we're going to focus on using Simbit Enerchips in their bare die form for what we call embedded energy applications. They're actually taking the bare die and placing it directly into other ICs or other devices directly. Now we build the 50 microamp hour devices. This wafer has the standard 12 microamp hour device on it. We also build a standard product as five. So these are five microamp hours. You see they're getting very tiny, very small. All of these devices are available, for instance, at Micros, who specialize in bare die distribution and device fabrication. Now we even take the devices down to one microamp hour. They're very tiny. And I want to show you how we use that in a very interesting device done by the University of Michigan. It's an intraocular pressure sensor, and that's up on Simbit.com. If you go over to our Design Center page under the Wireless tab, you can see this device. But let's examine it further so we can see how the Simbit Enerchip is actually embedded in this device. This is a diagram of the interocular pressure sensor done by the group at the University of Michigan. You can see the link to the white paper on Simbit.com. This is a four-layer device. The first layer is a MEMS pressure sensor. And then on top of that is a one microamp hour Enerchip bare die. It uses wire bond attached to power the microprocessor and a to D converter that's on the layer above and the top layer is a very small solar cell and a wireless transceiver. This device is powered using light and the Enerchip rechargeable solid state battery stores the energy for when light's unavailable. The entire device is powered by the Enerchip and the connections are wire bonded. As we'll see in a minute there are other options for connecting bare die Enerchips as well. The whole device fits in the eye, measures the pressure, and reports it out to a wand that the patient holds up in front of the eye to measure pressure in the eyeball. Here we see one of the interocular pressure sensor devices under a microscope. In this configuration, the inner chip is actually in the second layer. And you can see the two terminals, the plus and minus, sort of peeking out uh, underneath the first layer. You can see the wire bond attached to the die pads on the inner chip there on the right. And you can see the wire bonds as they jump from layer to layer. This is known as essentially a wedding cake configuration. Now we can take a closer look at the inner chip. In this photo, we've increased the magnification and reoriented the device to be able to look at the Enerchip bare die wire bond pads. You can see the two wires coming from the plus and minus terminals wired up to the device above, and power is distributed throughout the entire device from that layer. So you can see we're using standard semiconductor die attach techniques in this interocular pressure sensor. Enerchip bare die can be attached in multiple ways. Down on the lower left hand corner of this slide we see the 3D stacking option that was used in the interocular pressure sensor. They can also be placed side by side as they are in the Enerchip CBC 3105 shown in the slide above. You can also use solder bumps and a flip chip technique and attach them to a substrate that way or you can combine the techniques use wire bond and solder bumps in the same package in a system on chip. This photo shows an innovative way to stack devices using different size solder bumps. The inner chip is the larger layer above using larger solder bumps that sits over the top of a smaller application specific integrated circuit that uses tiny solder bumps. In this fashion you can leverage your real estate by using a stacking technique and create very small devices. To summarize today's session We've learned that you can use Enerchip bare die in different configurations using wire bond attach or solder bump attach. 
you're now able to put energy storage directly into integrated small devices where legacy batteries and super caps cannot go. If you go to Simbit.com, under the products page, here you can see we have embedded energy information, both white papers as well as additional data sheets, where you can find additional information on bringing energy chips into your products. Now most products that use an embedded energy chip is a new innovative product and may need some design assistance. We're happy to do that. Please contact us through Simbit.com or call us directly concerning your new project needs. We look forward to adding Enerchip's energy storage to your new project. Thanks.